Well, hello there. It is Saturday, April 27th, and we're back. Um, we did come up earlier this week and do some work. Uh, we worked some on that closeout there uh, for the flat panel closeout, and I can't remember if we did some work on these uh, closeouts here, but uh, whatever whatever we did, I'll, uh, I'll throw some video in here right now. Hey, it's um, Tuesday, April 23rd, and we're gonna be up here just for a little bit tonight. Uh, a couple things we're gonna look at is that closeout for that flat panel. We let that um, adhesive do its thing on that uh, little mount strip that we put on there. I'll show that here in a minute. Um, there is a piece of aluminum that actually gets Velcroed onto the bottom side of this, these seat rails. It's just, uh, just a closing cover for that. Uh, so I've got that ready to go. I primed that. I'm just going to put some flat black on it just so it doesn't stick out too bad. Um, and then other than that, if we do something else, we'll do something else. Done up here for tonight, and I have a couple notes for those of you that are for those of you that haven't gotten here yet. Uh, a couple things to note. So these holes, I wasn't quite sure where to put these, and uh, I just did them halfway of the span of this. And turns out I mean, they're going to be okay for us, but it's these holes are right on the edge of the flap, uh, the flap um, assembly. Jeez, the flap handle support, the you know the the sides. Uh, it's right up against there. The screws are going to be okay. That's going to fit in there. But I would put these a little bit closer to the center, maybe about halfway between where we've got them here and where this edge is. Maybe put it just over, uh, like I said, towards the middle a little bit more. I'd do that. Um, the other thing was this piece that we glued on. I got a little bit of a. A little bit off right there in the middle see where it, there's that gap in there well that pushes down and that hits again that that flap assembly that flap brace where it comes up and then it curves up it was hitting this edge on there so I just took a sand wheel and just trimmed that off right there but if you put these holes over just a little bit probably about half this distance in there then you can take and just trim this uh, trim this piece off right here and you can see that's right where the edge of the of that assembly is it was right on the edge and so uh, this screw is actually it's underneath there but there's enough of a gap where it's going to fit in there um, so yeah uh, for those of you who haven't been here yet like I said make those holes a little closer to the middle and also trim this edge off of this piece here when after you glue it in there uh, you'll probably have a lot better luck fitting it up. The other thing I had to do was I had to take and sand these these edges here just so I could get it so when you put this half on you don't have to fight with it. It just slides right up on there and did the same with this 
um, with this top piece. Or unless you're Derek Kenny, then you just build your own uh, build your own whole center console and get real fancy. But <laughs> sorry, Derek. Uh, uh, all right, everybody, have a good evening, and um, we'll get back to whatever day it currently is. See ya. Wednesday, April 24th, and here we are going to, uh, we're going to start on this, this uh, seat side panel uh, for the interior. I'm assuming we won't get very far with this, probably won't even get this part done, but uh, we're going to get started on that, and then obviously the next one will be the other side there, so uh, we'll get going. I'm trying to remember if there was something that I was going to say in the last video, but of course I didn't take any notes to try and remember that. But anyways. Okay, getting a little closer here, but uh, we're going to call it off for tonight. Uh, it did end up trimming a bit out of there to get around that seat belt and uh, Also gonna have to take a little bit more off. Let's see if we can do this You have to take a little bit more off here uh, for where that Landing gear bolt is right there. So we'll make a little more room in there yeah. yeah, it's a bit of a slow go on this you just trim a little bit and fit it up and then trim it some more and see if you can figure out what what else needs to be trimmed but uh, so we'll be back again maybe Friday uh, if not Friday we'll be back Saturday so uh, there you go and we're back for today Saturday the 27th and uh, actually we did start doing some work on that side closeout um, and not showing much of that uh, from there, but I'll try and get a little more when we do this side and talk about that. But if you are doing these, just go to uh, the RAND site and get um, Eddie, um, Eddie Gill's video of him uh, fitting those up. Really good video, uh, some good steps in there. So, well, that's what we're going to work on, see if there's anything else we get to today, and um, see what happens. So, here we go. So, first thing we're doing here is uh, we're putting this bracket in, and what you have to do is you have to measure uh, the distance from this plane here, of the, the front of these tubes, to this side of this bracket is 0.8 inches. So I just put a straight edge across here, measured out that distance. And what we have to do is we have to space this way back. This took three, uh, I'm just using uh, 10L or 10, 10L or 10s? Uh, the thick ones. The thick ones, the thick washers. <laughs> uh, just using those in there. Now I know this is a this is a 30 rivet that goes in here and those those washers are for an AN3, so the hole is bigger than a 30. Um, so it's taken three of those on this side, on each of those tabs. Um, we measured this other side, and this one ended up taking, uh, that takes two washers on each side to get 0.8. And basically that's because of how they, how they do these, uh, these tabs, how these tabs get welded in, they're not all the, the perfect distance so but yeah we're gonna rivet this in and then we can start uh, fitting up that that side piece well I decided to do um, we we're gonna use some 30 number th not number 30 but a size 30 uh, washers on there and all I had was thin washers so decided just to go make some bushings for it so I made a couple uh, four bushings for that right there. So we'll go ahead and rivet that in.
Okay, got this uh, side closeout trimmed up and fit. And um, it just fits in there. Um, there's enough room here for the, once we haven't, haven't got the, did the hole for this yet. So there's a, that bracket behind there. This will get a fastener that goes in here. But if we hold this in, um, there's just, just enough room on the side for that seat to slide up and down. And this, this, this recess in here, uh, there's probably about, oh, about a quarter inch clearance uh, on that pin from that where that pin sits to the bottom of where this recess is. So it seems to fit okay. Had to do a cutout here for these welds. Had to do, oops, sorry, had to do another one up here for that part and then did one back here uh, on that. Also had to, let's go the seat up here. Since we're running pedo and AOA up, did did have to do a cutout right here where those tubes come through, but it's just enough to where this sits sits uh, on there pretty good. I think it fits. I think it fits pretty good. Getting things marked out to trim, do this first cut of, uh, of this uh, inside trim piece here. And so I marked that, uh, that line, I put a line on there, I flipped this over, and so I measured up one and one eighth inches. And then I put this line, the tape, all the way around and I'll cut this off just right on the on this side of the blue tape. Uh, that gives us one and one eighth uh, on that trim. We'll do that all the way around, but this actually, this all gets, there's a big chunk of this, it gets cut out. This will be flush, or not flush, but where this corner is here, that gets cut along there. Uh, and I think all the way up to here, doesn't it? Anyways, but this, just the very first cut is this one and one eighth, that's the, to start it out. Okay, we trim the bottom of this of this tri of this uh, cover off here. Now, when this when we actually trim this up to fit, there's a big section back here that's going to get cut off. But I just did this here, this part, uh, and then we'll do kind of do our initial uh, initial fit up here. See see what uh, see how it goes. Fairly decent day today. Um, ended up getting pretty cloudy here this afternoon. It was sunny um, earlier today, um, but uh, other than that, uh, a little bit windy. Had to put the jacket on though. It kind of cooled off a little once the sun went away. All right, we're at a stopping point for today, and um, got started getting some uh, trimming done on this. It did get 
the cuts done back here. And you can see where we cut that out to get around that seat belt and also the landing gear mount nut uh, down there. So we cut that out. And uh, coming up, we'll need to do cutouts here for that tubing right there. So we'll have to do a little cutout there so it can slip down under there. And I think we're just a little bit tall here. So uh, we've got some trimming to do down here and we might end up having to trim a little bit off that entire line, but uh, we'll see what we get on that. And we did uh, pretty much get this one over here done. This is the one we started the other night and I did make a mistake and um, trimmed this just a little bit too skinny uh, on this edge. So what I'm going to do, I mean, nobody, you don't see this, nobody sees this once it's installed. I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, plastic, I'm just glue a, a plastic strip in there uh, to trim this back out and then I'll trim that down we'll put that back in. But uh, that's what we got done for today. Um, we made, uh, those bushings took a little bit to make, uh, those little bushings for the mount brackets and, um, had a few visitors too. So that, uh, took a little bit of time. What are you doing? Looks like our state. Oh. <laughs> That's the cutout from that guy there. She thinks it looks like Montana. I guess it does in a way, a little bit. Um, but uh, anyways, that's um, what we got done for today. So everybody have a good evening and um, thanks for watching. And that's it for now.